All right, outdoorsmen, we are in DC with my favorite friend. Uh, she is kind of going through my pockets. Um, must have forgotten something heading back to the car. We are here at the end of March and we're heading out to see the cherry blossoms. So um, we're excited to see them because there are a bunch that the National Park Service are going to be cutting down and taking graphs of and then they're going to be relocating them to other places around the tidal basin. So come along for today's adventure and let's get outdoors. There's some beautiful little birds singing in the background. These are magnolia trees here that are blooming. Not the cherry blossoms, but a welcome little addition. just off the tidal basin. Boats are out, but many of them are still wrapped up from winter time. All right, here is our first glimpse of the cherry blossoms along the tidal basin. everyone we are walking down to the Jefferson where we can see the Jefferson Memorial from behind the cherry blossoms there it is off in the distance we'll walk in and check that out here in just a little bit We have some little feathered friends here spending their morning with us. Thanks for sharing, friends. Yeah. Oh, planning for tomorrow. Interesting how some of the trees have grown enough. everyone in the background of the cherry blossoms is another monument that's the Washington monument perspective of getting to the Jefferson Memorial. And there it is. Kind of a side view of Thomas Jefferson's statue. He's in there. All right, outdoorsmen, here we are at the face of the Jefferson Memorial. As we move along here, we're eventually we'll be able to and see him standing there. Sorry, I just bumped the lady. Ah, there he is. daughter-in-law and best friend in the whole world.
enforcement as we continue around the tidal basin. It is just so cool to see how many people are out amongst the cherry blossoms and how it has brought races and nationalities together. All right, outdoorsmen, sorry for the wind, but here you can see where the blossom petals reach the edge of the, and actually create a line. That's how high the tide gets, so at some point during the day, the tide is coming that high, which is part of the reason why so many of the trees need to be cut down, construction work done, and then have them replanted. spray out fishing. This statue symbolizes the friendship between Japan and the United States and these beautiful trees were a gift from the country of Japan back in 1922. Freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from what? Freedom of fear. Interesting perspective. Other cherry blossoms. Let's see a little bit of the snow given to us from the cherry trees.
lots and lots and lots of cherry blossoms. Trying to find some that are in the sun that really accentuate how beautiful they are. And they're starting to give up the ghost a little bit. This is probably not a surprise. There is the Washington Monument, and we're walking that way. All right, outdoorsmen, we are here on the Washington Monument Mall, and the red brick building people in the know call it the OMB, Office of Management Budget, and they actually take care of the president's budget, pay his salary, and all of the accoutrements that a president deems are important to have. And then the uh, greenish blue building adjacent to that is the old executive office building. All right, outdoorsmen, wrapping up our trip to the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Um, got to see a whole lot of people out experiencing the beautiful cherry blossoms. Um, learned a lot along the way. Hopefully you did too. And also got to see some monuments. There will be an episode coming up here in the near future, probably into the summer with many of the monuments in the DC area. So again, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, get outdoors.